grateful and very happy this Saturday afternoon. I just came home from a women's breakfast and I thought I would come here and just share a little bit about what I have been hearing and a lot of people have been asking me of my opinion and I've been saying, you know what, I am coming to share. I am coming to share my opinion on investment. Why do we have to invest in Kenya? Why can't we just invest here? What is the point? I am not even going back home, many says. Why should I? My kids will never go back home. Why should I put all my money in Kenya when I know that you know, my life, most of the things that I'll do uh, will be here, you know, and uh, it's it's legitimate, it's true, and uh, it is something that us uh, in the diaspora, we really need to put our mind into it and be clear and see what is best for our, our, our money, you know, because, uh, you know, if you invest so heavily in Kenya, then you won't have much of investment here. If you invest so heavily here, you have nothing in Kenya, and... We want to be associated with Kenya. But before I go on, I want to just say a little bit about our sponsors today. Uh, we are sponsored by a company called Amoco, A-M-C-C-O. Amoco is a, a real estate company that is based in Kenya. That doesn't mean that we are saying you invest there. But uh, Amoco is uh, a company that uh, sells uh, properties. They have most of their project in a place called Kikuyu, Kenya. Kikuyu is on those sides of Limuru, right before you get to Limuru. That's where Kikuyu is, right after you pass the Kabetes. Uh, please call me or comment below and I'll make sure that I'll give you better direction on how to get there. But I know uh, you take 105, uh, you know, for those who are old timers, or 102 from town to go to Kikuyu. But what this company is doing, they have great properties there. They have plots of all different sizes. And those who are interested can be able to visit their website and I'll be able to post it down here below so that you can be able to see what they have. But why invest in Kikuyu if you ask yourself? You know, Kikuyu is a fast developing uh, area and the appreciation of the properties will go up because it's not that far from Nairobi and it is very urban. It's very urban. There's uh, many great hospitals in Kikuyu. I know most of you know of uh, uh, the Goto Hospital. Uh, they know of, um, you know, the Goto Hospital. I think it's, uh, it's very close to Kikuyu. And Kikuyu also have a hospital called Kikuyu Hospital. And many other great things. It's not far from uh, Lower Kabete. Uh, it's definitely not far from uh, Nairobi also, you know, within 30, 40 minutes you are in Kikuyu. And uh, it is uh, very, it has great diversity. There is all different kinds of people living in Kikuyu. It's very urban, like I said. So it's a great place to go. Uh, right now, the plots are very affordable. Uh, for eighth of an acre, you pay about 750 and uh you know it's beautiful Kikuyu is a beautiful place when you're there you're seeing far you know they have beautiful scenery and it's just fresh and you can also buy uh for different uh you can diversify on your investment they have some commercial farming in Kikuyu you can do farming you can do you can lease the place a lot of people from Nairobi who are looking for larger pieces of land to lease they can lease from Kikuyu and you can build of course you can build there's a lot of great residential locations that are available and uh, that is the company that uh, is selling the Kikuyu properties that we are affiliated with. So it's called AMCCO and they are one of our vendors uh, for the upcoming expo. 
So I will encourage you, if you talk to them, make sure you come and meet with them in our expo. And if you are not able to talk to them, don't worry. Just come to our expo and they'll be there. They will, the team will be there and they'll be able to share a lot of information with you. Uh, why invest in Kenya? You know, and your kids are here, families here, you have lived here all your life. Why invest there? And why don't you want to invest here? I suggest, or I know that most of people who live in diaspora, they invest in both countries because we live here, we have a portion of our investment here. Many people also invest in Kenya because there is also opportunity in Kenya. Kenya is a fast growing, de developing country. And so investing there means that you can easily be able to grow your, your capital. It means that you are likely that, you know, within the time that uh, if you give yourself five, 10 years, you will double your investment, triple, or even uh, you, some people can um, multiply by five times. So it's a great country to invest in that sense that you can easily be able to increase your, the value of your principal. So, uh, and that also means, uh, you know, or it can also mean that uh, if you know where you're investing, your return on investment will also be good. So as long as you do your due diligence, uh, you do your homework, you are able to do the math to figure out what am I investing, investing today and what will be my rate of return. You can get a lot of good opportunities that you get a very high rate of return of your investment. And another thing that uh, it's uh, also very important to note, you can actually stretch your dollar uh, with the dollar value, you know, continuing to increase or even, you know, the exchange value of a dollar is high. So with Little money, what you call little money here, you can be able to convert that money and you have a substantial amount of money in Kenya in a way that you can be able to invest them. Whereas, if you have 5000 here, sometimes it's very difficult to come up with an investment that you can be able to invest here for 5000 But if you have 5000 uh, US dollars or Canadian uh, dollars, you can be able to convert that money and buy a piece of land, sometimes even keep a down payment for an apartment and um, get someone staying in the apartment, paying the, the mortgage and all that. Uh, and then you will be able to invest your money down. Uh, so there's opportunity to be able to stretch your dollar and to invest your dollar, your money that more than likely if you had it here, you possibly would not find a good investment that you'll be able to invest there. So think about it. it it's a good it's a good way of looking at uh, uh, what you are able to do. And of course, you can always liquidate whatever you invest if uh, for some reason you don't want to ever go back to Kenya or retire there. You can always, um, you know, liquidate it and uh, be able to convert that money into the U.S. money and be able to invest here. Uh, the other thing is uh, it's home. No matter how you look at it, that's where you're born. And your kids, if you have kids, you want them to, to know their origin. You want them to uh, understand their culture. They, 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 you want them to tie themselves with their origin. Because no matter how Americanized we become, no matter how, how much we change or how much we don't like our culture, you can learn away from, from who you are. This is who you are. You were possibly born in Kenya or your parents were born in Kenya. And so you are Kenya. And so somehow, you know, you have to identify yourself as a Kenyan who is an American. So if you invest at home, then you feel that you have an investment at home. And if you happen to be one of those people like myself who love going back home for vacations and to see family, if you have a property there, you'll be very, very proud of yourself. Uh, you will go by and you stay in your own apartment. Uh, you can let, lend it out to me or to other people who are regular visitors in Kenya. And it will be your 
home. So you have a home away from home. Uh, so it, it's it's great definitely to invest back home. And so think about it and uh, see 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 you, yourself owning a property at home. So home is home. Kenya is home. US is home for most of us. And no matter what, you you are you you belong to both countries. And uh, uh, the other I uh, thought why and uh, why you should really consider uh, or why people say that they invest at home is really for retirement. Uh, at some point, no matter how hard you work or how much you love working, you retire. And if you retire, you retire at uh, 60. You have energy. You want to give back. You may consider going back to Kenya and giving back to your people. Uh, if that is you, investing in Kenya will help you during that time. Because then you don't have to bring your dollars back home. You can just go and utilize the money that you have already invested there. If you have plots, you can build and that can be something that can keep you busy. You can, you can have something to do because uh, you will need to have something to do. Otherwise, uh, you can go to the golf, but how much golf can you play? You know, it's just something that you can do. And those investment, uh, if you build some good investment, uh, you, people, you know, your family, your kids will love it. Think about yourself. You live here and you do make good money. You are settled here. You have a home, you have a family. But if you had somewhere else that you are getting three or four thousand dollars a month, wouldn't you be happy? Your kids will appreciate, and I know our kids be great in this land. But investing in Kenya, it's not throwing away. You invest in Kenya, and you invest in a smart way. You you'll be able to uh, your kids will be able to enjoy it, or you can give it to charity. You know you know how we do it here. Sometimes you just, people generally, they give things to charities. So uh, we have Catholic charities in Kenya. We have other charities that you can trust, that cause is there. So you can, you can give if your kids, you truly feel that uh, your kids are not interested in your investment back home. And if you don't want to give to charity, you can also give to your people, you know, no matter what, you have people in Kenya. Uh, so think about it. Those are the few things that I have heard people talk about investing. Of course, there are many of us who invest here in the U.S. and we are happy doing it. Uh, we invest in real estate also. We invest in, in stock market. We invest, you know, we diversify our investment in different, in different areas. So whichever way you look at it, it's good. Just do it. Uh, think investment. Uh, but here at Jabolis, we are available to guide you, to support you. We have many great companies that we work with and we'll be bringing them to you. Some of them will be coming to you uh, this Memorial Day weekend here in New Jersey. We welcome you to come to our expo. It will be Memorial Day weekend. Very excited to host uh, our Honorable CS, uh, uh, Rebecca Miano, who will be our keynote speaker, plus many other honorable people who will be attending, including you and me. We are very excited and looking forward for May 24, 25, and 26 here in New Jersey. We are going to do a great thing. Thank you, everyone. Uh, share this video. Feel free to share it on your timeline and share with your friends, comment, and let us all plan to meet on Memorial Day weekend here in Jazzy. Karibuni sana. Thank you.